Go on for part two of the uh, cemetery uh, mini project. So I finally finished all cemeteries. These went by a little bit faster than the last one, but not by much. Most of us was being lazy with them. Uh, pretty much this map is a lot easier to run than Canyon just because it's tier 14. It's a smaller map too, so it's a lot quicker to get through everything. It's just the breaches do get screwed over on this one due to the edges. A lot of them kept spawning on the edge, so you lost half a breach always. But it was a pretty fun overall. I don't know overall which one's better. I think they're both a very good option, which I want you to choose in the long run. It was just I wanted to see for myself since when we did the, the quad four. I'm not going to buy the other two probably just because it's end of the league anyway for me. So pretty much what we got overall, we got four almost half... Uh, Simacron Splinters. Um, Ritual Vessels, I just kept choosing these because there was absolutely nothing else to choose. And then Twilight Temple for 10c and not really counting anything else after this. I didn't open a stack decks like I did in the other ones. So I'm saving those for April 1st. Uh, so uh, pretty much going over with real fast. Uh, these two Ancient Orbs were from Ritual. So you can count them, not count them. It's really up to you. It's 40 chaos. Uh, so 11x is a little bit hard to tell if this is a true, a true number or not on this project. Just because the first map we ran, like you saw, was 3x. I think map number seven also was another 3x that dropped from Alva's, from overall the explo loot explosion. It was pretty stupid. I don't know why I got 11x, but. I don't think that's realistic. In the future, if I ran another 10, I'm pretty sure I would not end up anywhere near 11. I'm pretty sure we just got extremely lucky on this. Uh, I would probably average more like 4 or 5 exalts like the Canyon one was. So that's what pretty much threw this number. When you see the actual like uh, breakdown at the end, so it threw this number off a little bit. because there's 11 of these. About 500 chaos, so like 5.5 exalts on chaos alone. Seven Divines, we did get, same as the Canyon, a lot of Tabulas. Just sold them all right away. Same pretty much to 300, that's 170. Pretty close, it's the same as the last one. Uh, Div, we did get one Brother Stash. I got this on map number nine. So it took pretty much nine, 10, 11, 12. It took about 14 maps to get one Brother Stash, which based on I've heard is supposed to be one of every eight maps, but between the first five I ran early in the league, fully juiced like this, and another nine to get one, at least we got one, but I don't know if this means that they might have secretly nerfed the drop rate on Brother Stash compared to early on like month one, everyone was running this map when they were getting Brother Stashes at one of every six to eight maps. So they might have nerfed this already to drop rates being a lot less now. So it's... Hard to say if this was lucky or not, too. Uh, maps, it's you only see 14 to 15, though, if you run this. If you run a tier 14 map, just give you a heads up. So that's why we didn't get any tier 16s. No shapers, all that kind of stuff. Uh, pretty much the same with these, exact same, the 20s each. Uh, Scarabs is pretty interesting. We got about the same on the uh, rest of the Legions and the Harbingers. But the interesting part is now is that we actually got uh, less polished than Canyon, but we got more gilded than Canyon. So it's really weird. But we pretty much got all of our um, Rusted Legions back, all of our polished ambushes back. We got all 10 gilded divs back and all 10 gilded breaches back, which I was very surprised on. And we got 13 gilded harbingers, which are pretty much the big money ones in this. And gilded legions do sell pretty well. All the Legion sell in general. But I was very surprised we actually got all of them back. So pretty much they all paid for themselves running this. Fossils, nothing really dropped in count. Essence was the same thing. So pretty much that was the only good drops. Yeah, we didn't count this. I'm not counting in a power. Yeah. So pretty much the actual breakdown. Not that one. So from the currency tab, because of the 11x, we made 27 exalts just on the currency tab alone. If you take out the 11x, it's only like 16 exalts. Uh, Scarabs, like I said, it's about 17 exact same as Canyon. So I'm pretty sure 
that's why I'm not sure between this. Like how somehow we got uh, two exalts less uh, polished than Canyon, but we got two exalts more on Gilded than Canyon. So it's really weird. And the numbers also, I'm using the exact same numbers from the Canyon project. So you can actually see a little bit like that. I'm, these numbers might have changed between uh, a couple days ago when I made the when I did the finish the last video to now. I didn't really check. I'm just going with what they were on the Canyon video. Make it easy. Fragment, 53, 63, uh, wait, 56 chaos. I mean, yes, technically, well, yeah, you count. You would count you. Well, so you don't really have to count, but it's more of this this one. These two, actually. Uh, maps, nothing really, to be honest. Div was mainly because of Brother Stash. Uh, Simacrum, same thing, almost 3x, just like Canyon. Random tab, I mean, you could technically not count this because... I'm pretty sure Ritual won't be in the uh, um, core anyway. So the 54 chaos you probably can take out. We also, in the trade tab, we did have, I forgot, we had a 55 chaos trade. So pretty much, um, oh. So pretty much, uh, what do you want to call it? Minus like another 100 chaos. You probably can take out some of the exalts. It's, so pretty much, we did get about 36 and a half exalts, about 37 profit. It's pretty hard to say though, overall, is this better to run or than Canyon? It's hard to say. It's more of this one was really lucky on the raw exalts drop and the brother stash. Overall, I'm not sure which one I'm going to keep running this league. I might do both. Maybe just keep doing like five maps in one, five maps in the other. It's going back and forth for the rest of the league for the next week and a half. I got to figure out for myself what I'm going to do. But pretty much this is a show, like 10 maps, either map, any map you choose is going to be profitable no matter what you do this league. As long as you just choose, you can choose, you can change up the Scarabs too. I would just, no matter what, keep your Gilded Divination, uh, Gilded Breach, and run Rust and Rusted Legion. Polish Ambush, you can change to anything you want, just personal preference. If I was going to keep doing this, I'll probably just run Gilded just to get rid of them. Or I might just keep doing this and sell the Gilded off. But it's pretty much the end of the um, cemetery project. I'm gonna pretty much, I'm not sure what the next video is gonna be, to be honest. I think the next video is gonna be the build guide that I've already been, re that people are requesting already for me. But I'm pretty much and done with the league. I'm just gonna keep running probably more of these when I get more uh, fracture fossils. But probably just keep jumping back and forth between these two to at least just have something to do. And then I'm gonna keep try to work on stuff for end of league gambles if anyone has any stuff they want to donate for this it could be ancient orb stack decks uh, exalt chaos whatever you want to do and you could think of too if you want me to vowel something if you want to bring stuff to me just a vowel like a bunch of these open bunch of stack decks uh whatever you guys can think of let me know i'm gonna do what anything pretty much that day just trying to get up stuff where we can have just do whatever crazy stuff we want Actually, I can think of because I don't really have a lot of ideas because I don't know. But April 1st, my last stream, like I've mentioned last video. Uh, if you'd like to see us, um, well, last stream of POE until next league starts, should probably clarify that. So, I hope I like the video. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe down below, come follow me on Twitch. Uh, put a comment below if um, any ideas, if you like these, if you want to see a different project before I end the league. We might do some macrams too, maybe. I uh, hope you liked the video, and I'll see you on the next one.